Yeah. Now throw in, and he looks mean. Well, it may not be the greatest standard this wow. quarter final so far, both averaging around 83 84, but a darting drama it is with a place in the semi finals. A guarantee of at least twelve and a half thousand pounds. And in Manley's case, the dream stays alive for the Grand Slam. And after he got through that first round against Kevin Painter, had to book himself another flight. I was telling me this morning, 580 quid it cost him to fly back to Manchester tomorrow morning. I don't let him kid you, he can afford it. So he's told Chrissy she'll have to wait another week for a new dress. What a turnaround. Wow. At the moment here, uh, Manley doing to Tavern what Tavern did to Classen yesterday. 161, yes, treble 17. 80. Well, he certainly would have gone for it with the money on the line for the highest checkout. But Tavern has just, I don't know if it's concentration or if he's so relaxed. Well, I'm sure Manley made a mistake there. Went for the 25, should have stayed upon the 20s. Wow. Now, he might only have one dart at the ball. He hits a treble. He's got two at the double. Well, he's gone for 25, 16 and double top. Double top. Well, pulled it that time. So, tabbing a chance. This to get him back in the game. One dart at ball. 64. Pity you require 20. Well, those are the opportunities you need to take. And he did this in the first leg. Can he hit it this time? <laughs> first dart, second dart, or third dart, doesn't matter. Still get that one peg on the board. From 3 0 down, Peter Mann moves 4 3 ahead. But it's, it's incredible, isn't it, how he sort of creeps up on you? Uh, Kevin Painter in the first round. Had a better average than Manley by about five or six points. Here it's the same. Tavern 86, Manley 81, uh, but Manley's winning 4 2. Yeah, that's definitely due down to the first three legs. Peter Manley missed all seven darts in that first leg and then seemed to affect him just that little bit and went 3 0 down. Since then, it's been the one dart story 4 3 ahead. 16. Tabern throwing first in this leg. Crucial. Doesn't give another leg against a throw. That will spur Peter on. 100. First to nine for a place in the semi finals. Six o'clock tonight, the two semi finals and the final of the first ever European Championship. Wow. Well, it's taken Tavern eight legs, but a first maximum. And boy, did he need it. He's lost four consecutive legs. Yeah. So darts at the double in that last leg, but he's got a bit more time here. Is he going to go for the 25? Or is he going for the treble 15? Double eight. Double four. Well, he's missed it this time, but he knows he's coming back. But as a player, you need to kill it. You don't want to be putting yourself under extra pressure, which Peter Manley's going to duly apply. He'd probably go for the ball. The reason he went for the ball was to leave a two-dart finish. If he hits that treble 20, double two for Tavern. And again... Missed that double for giving Peter Manley yet another chance. Well, I'll tell you what, Yellow Class will be, will be looking at this and thinking, well, why couldn't he have played like that in just a couple of legs? Class and 6 2 up, lost 9 6. Manley here with a chance of double 10, and he's taken it five consecutive legs. Now, in the second round against James Wade, he was 2 0 down and then won seven legs on the spin. 3 0 down here, magic from Manley, 5 3 against Alan Tavern. Well, how many times have we seen it? The momentum. Adrian Lewis did it before, hit absolutely everything. 
and yesterday all those close games so many swings and roundabouts but as we've said once you start hitting the trebles and the doubles you can have a good 10 or 15 One minute spell all these players capable of doing that and once you do that get yourself in a good position but peter back on the business table and back in the treble it's his second 180 and the third of the match two to peter so he's now raised but tavern fighting back tavern missing eight darts at a double in the last three legs well i mentioned it when he missed that double I knew he was coming back to throw three more. Sometimes it takes the pressure off, but you need 44. to hit it as soon as you can. Because Peter applied the pressure, left 80, missed, and then Peter Manley hit treble 20, double 10. Well, 161 still the highest finish. He would have gone for the ball, even though Tavern was on 194 for that 2,000 pounds. Well, good set up there by Tavern. Manley, first of the board on 78, trouble 12. And he's hit it. Double 12. Double 6. 66. Manley's turn to miss. This is vital. The biggest three darts of the match so far for Alan Tavern. One dart at tops. And another one bites the dust. Tavern now has missed 12 darts and a double. And Manley here to make it six of the very best. He needs double six to win six legs on the trot. Peter Manley, three legs away from the semi finals. Well, Alan Tavern has gone from Saint to Sinner. Looked so in control after the first three legs. But Peter Manley, as he always does, the wily coyote. He managed to keep himself in the game on that first break. And now 6-3 ahead. Only three legs away from that semi-final spot. And he'll fancy his chances if he does get to that semi-final. He's coming down for the 19s. Not good enough. Just not good enough for Alan Tabern. Is it going to be disappointments in the quarterfinals again? Fourth big major TV quarter-final appearance in 2008. He's lost the previous three. Uh, he, he just doesn't seem to have the stomach for it at the moment. I think he's convinced himself that he can't win this game. Manley trying to convince himself he can take out a 170. Little glint in his eye. No, Tavern not scoring, not finishing. And that's why he's 6-3 down. So he just needs to get his head together and he needs to get it quick. Peter Manley moving in on 45. 45. Double top for 7 3. And Julia applies. Peter Manley from 3 0 down goes in at the second break. 7 3 up.